uh, if I remember 27 years back, I was in the same state. Uh, dear students and parents, first, uh, one thing is before you look forward for anything, be assured that you are in the right place. Petro Ragatum, Manavar Ragatum, in the Kaluri, Miga Siranda Kaluri, Tamil Nadu, in the Edatil, Idavida Sirapaga Kaluri, where Edum Ilai, Nan Silan Atkaragae, in college in uh, Professor Adan Pesi Kundirin, I found them extremely good. More importantly, it is not just academics, they are having a deep understanding of the industry, which is very, very important. And this morning, when I visited the college, I was amazed at the infrastructure. Either pole building some infrastructure where in the college ilum illai. It is not Naraya College in Central Crane, Chennai, Migam, Kaluriel, Pathari Crane, Idu Pondra, infrastructure in Pathari Lake, Kartale, playground in the Pathari, Silla Kaluria playground in Bale or a photo along Kami Panga. Sports meet in Nairo or a stadium at Lapoy Rinal Pampanga. But infrastructure like this is not present in many colleges. So again, I congratulate you and would say that please be confident and you're assured that you are in the right place. So another most important aspect is any engineering college cannot function in silo or separate. It cannot be just a theoretical exercise. And the most important part of this college is next door you have Chettinada Cements where you can go and learn whatever you have learnt in the class. And this kind of an opportunity, uh, possibly only PSC Tech had, right sir? I don't think any other college has an industry next door. And this is something, a unique gift to all of you. And over the next four years, I would expect all of you to take advantage of this. Uh, just going back to memory lane, about 27 years back, Seriyaga Iravatheya Anda Munba, Nanam, uh, I was just waiting uh, to join PSG College of Technology with a lot of confusion in my mind and a lot of excitement. Excitement because I'm entering a college, I have completed a school, got good marks, so I got an engineering seat and a good college, but confusion, what is in store? And I'm pretty sure this is the case with most of you. Enna nadakumon teriyadu. But please, I will say, as time progressed, by the end of the first year itself, I could see a lot of clarity. Confusion was totally gone. The reason, the first year was amazing. It was a fantastic experience, and that is what you people are going to go through. In the first year, the kind of subjects you are going to learn, which may be extension of your school, predominantly in the basic and the applied sciences, but the way it is being taught and the way you are going to appreciate it is going to be different. And I am today in front of you after 27 years uh, as a fairly successful person is a testimony to what my college has done. In the four years, the college shaped me. I entered the college as a very, very shy person. In fact, I never addressed anybody on the stage until the end of the final year. And it was always a challenge, but it's the college that gave me an opportunity. In the college, it was not just engineering I learned. I learned a lot of things that really shaped me. One of the things principal said is, Naal varsha kashta patta, naapad varsha nimmadi arikla. Adla ore ore siri tiritam. Naal varsha ipa kashta patta, varka fulla nimmadi arikla. And the naal varsha kashta na na solala, ishta toda padinga, ishta toda ella value sayinga. Definitely not a top lover. And the batch size is 315, right? So when I want to come back here in 2018 and see all the 350 people of you, we are very, very successful engineers. And I want to come. That is my request. Okay. In the last Oru Vashmaga Niga, Rumba Rumba Kashta Patta Patcher Pinga, 12th standard, maths, Naraya Marks, physics, chemistry, Okay. But you need to be very, very responsible and you have a lot of freedom. You have come a long way in the last one year. You have done a fantastic job. And the reason you are here is because you have done job. For 
350 of you are here, I could say that there are at least 35,000 people outside who have not been able to get into this college. You have been a winner, and this is just the start of your winning habits. And this is where you need to capitalize, and I wish you all the best to be a winner all through your life. Going a little bit where India is today, a lot of things have been spoken in the last couple of years that economy has not been doing well, it has been recession, but today, with the change in the leadership at the center and the forward thinking, India is poised for a big economic kickoff. One of the dreams of uh, our former president, Dr. Abdul Kalam, is that India will be a developed nation by 2020. We are in 2014. A lot of changes are happening, and by the time you are coming out, India will be on a cusp of becoming one of the superpowers not just in the economy, it can be in industry, academia, and a host of things. Already, India has challenged the world by launching uh, satellites and a mission to moon. Mission to Mars is pretty close to being fruitful. Look at it, the kind of opportunities you are going to get. In the next four years, in addition to engineering, the kind of exposure you are going to get are phenomenal. And a couple of things which college will be doing is having a lot of industrial visits, industrial lectures and these are the kind of exposure you will be getting it and you are come, going to come out of the college when India is blossoming. There cannot be any better time than this. In fact, I expect India to be at a growth rate of about 10 to 12 percent matching that of China possibly in 2018 when you grab. So a lot of opportunities, host of opportunities are waiting. Irrespective of the branch that you take, you will have Lots of opportunities. If you want to study up further, you will have, you can do engineering, you can do management, you can go for research. This is something uh, I want all of you to be aware of, think about it, and as you move along, you will be only hearing good things, and you will be seeing only more importantly good things happening. All I can say is, if you'd have seen three months back, India was kind of written off, but not anymore. In fact, world over, they are watching with a lot of eagerness, with a lot of interest, what's going on, and people have reposed confidence and faith in India. And moving on, uh, there are about seven branches, right, sir? Seven. Seven branches, and uh, each of you would have taken a branch of your choice. Some of them would have got a branch close to your choice. Irrespective of the branches, one of the things that is going to be uh, predominantly be welcoming you is the opportunities. For example, uh, if you take civil engineering, civil engineering is one of the oldest engineering and possibly it dates back to, I do not know, maybe 3,000, 4,000 years, even uh, Ram Setu Bridge was constructed with a testimony of the civil engineering. And today, with a lot of activities happening, there is going to be immense opportunities for civil engineers in terms of building dams, roads, uh, buildings, and sometimes uh, one-off events like Commonwealth Games or some World Conference trigger off a lot of infrastructure. While this is just a core civil engineering, there are other uh, allied fields associated with uh, civil engineering are also expected to kick off. And this is something I think uh, all the civil engineers need to be proud of. In fact, Pakapona Karurle, Narea buildings were a Narea dam cut a Narea road port a Vendirikum, Idikella civil engineer, Narea opportunities were. And moving on, mechanical engineering. How many of you know that India is the automobile hub of the world now? Good, sir. Thank you. In fact, our Rendavartak Munadin, a national geographic program, Pathan. South Africa is a couple. Kandla Mundra Port is a car load. car load. It is a car load. It is a world record. And this is a very same country where cars were imported 20 years back. Today, India is exporting cars. As a mechanical engineer, you have immense opportunity in automobile engineering. And automobile engineering is not just the end of the world for mechanical engineers. This is just the start. In fact, a very good example is the factory next, Chetinada Siemens. 
there are a lot of equipments, a lot of machineries. So this is where, you know, all the mechanical engineers will have immense opportunities. From a country which was importing the cars, it's become a country which has exported the cars, and not just exporting, India has started exporting designs. In fact, uh, Hyundai's i20 was entirely designed in India. It was done much better than the Korean engineers themselves. As a mechanical engineer, you have immense opportunities, both in the core and the balancing uh, fields. Moving on, circuit branches, triple E, EC, E and I. These days, anything and everything is electronics. There is nothing right now without electronics, anything, including the car itself, if you see the engine is being driven by a microcontroller. Uh, immense opportunities, both in the applied electronics as well as the core circuitry part of it. And again, there is always information technology. India is the backbone, back office hub of the world. Uh, Prof uh, Professor Jagdishan had told CTS, TCS have come. They are the world leaders. In fact, how many of you know that TCS is one of the largest employers of the world? They have more than 2 lakh people working and the amount of contracts they are winning are phenomenal. IT has been growing in the last 15 years and it will continue to grow for another 15 years. But comes with the flip side is that IT has been so huge that it has been taking away people from the core engineering. So here I want to give a piece of advice to uh, mechanical and civil engineering is please do not leave your branch and go to IT, concentrate and there is immense opportunity in your own field. And this, having said that, these are all the core engineering and there are a lot of fields emerging which would need expertise in more than one field. During your course of four years, you will be having certain set of core subjects and certain set of elective subjects. You can prepare yourself for interdisciplinary where <clears throat> more than one fields are required. For example, robotics. Robotics is a combination of mechanical and electronics and robotics is the need of the hour. And the, how many of you are aware of the amount of uh, teamwork that's been put by uh, ISRO on uh, space launch? How many engineers, do you, anybody of you aware of? In fact, more than 1,000 engineers from various branches, which include civil, uh, metallurgy, mechanical, electronics, name the branch. It was one huge project, and these are all the interdisciplinary uh, opportunities that you're going to have. And more importantly, India is a sunny country and solar power is something big that's waiting to happen and uh, possibly by the time you come out, that would be one place where there will be an immense need for both power and mechanical engineers. Quite often what is uh, misunderstood is I'll do a course for four years, then I get a job, I forget engineering. That's not the case. You will continue to learn, but the foundation is set in the college and you need to focus on the foundation. Uh, personal example is I did concentrate on the four years and that is why I was able to take advantage of it. From being a metallurgist, I moved to information technology and right now I'm in the medical devices. And I'm not the lone person, there are millions of others who have done that and here is my advice. During your four years, concentrate on what you need to do, think, and think practically. That will take you beyond what even you can think, uh, you can even dream of. Sometimes you would have dreamt very small. That's what you will come to know later. While I did dwell upon uh, the job opportunities, uh, some of you would want to pursue higher studies in the field of uh, engineering or applied sciences or management. Again. With the economy growth, there is going to be a lot of demand for the managers. So a lot of uh, ma management graduates will be in need. And research is one area that is kind of uh, blossoming. Uh, today, the pharmaceutical industries like Biocon and Ranbaxy are having one of the largest R&D labs in the world. And this is again one area where you can all look into it. So in short, in the next four years, you are going to prepare yourself for the world and the world is a big playground. In this digital world, 
you are not going to be confined to just narrow area. Possibly you might still be positioned in Karur, but be working for a company in Delhi or possibly somewhere outside India also. In fact, today it is becoming a borderless world as far as work is concerned. And your opportunities can come from anywhere and you can uh, execute work for anywhere sitting right at your place. Good. Now, I spoke about the opportunities. What I want to dwell upon the next 10 minutes is how and what you need to do during the next four years. That's very, very important. As I said, if you are going to concentrate on these four years, the rest of your life is going to be just a cakewalk. First of all, uh, when you enter into the college, first thing you must be wondering, what is this? Nirya Petrol Garikum, Manavar Garikum, School Le Rikum Bode, 12th Standard Le, Maths Le, 200, Physics Le 190, Chemistry Le 190, Wangi, Engineering, Epidiyad, Edan Kadacharano. But college Le Vandapra situation is different. You are no longer confined to a single textbook. Oru book ka paathu padi kerede kadayade. Nareya book ka padi kenum, nareya research papers pa kenum. There are journals for you. Here, the lecturers and professors will give you a concept. Differentiation is what? Integration is what? The concept 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 is what? You can go to the library and study books. And that is what is very important. Do not confine yourself to what is just being delivered Class of Sonna than which Matro Irunda Nalo Vashan Karishi Ninglo Veru Engineer Agara Ripping Lavoga in the Olagatik Nademure Araga Reka material. Adi Rumba Rumba Mukyam. So, what you really need to do is if a concept is taught, you look into it. For example, you take uh, in the mechanical engineering, the, everything starts with the internal combustion engine. It okay, the professor will come tell what is the principle in the internal combustion engine. What is a two-stroke engine? What is a four-stroke engine? But you need to know where it is a